kill him. Good shooting. Aaron, I ain't used to going in accessing by a four wheeler, so this is a, it's a first for me. Shout out my buddy John, hooking me up with all this robo ducks for this hunt. Came through for me. I only had one. I said, "Hey, John, bro, you got you got some uh, you got some extra robo ducks like a bar." He said, "Yeah." This dude showed up with like ten robos. <laughs> Uh-uh, no, you could, you could. My boy Aaron taking me to a little drag-in spot here. All right, y'all. Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name is Nate, and uh, I'm with my buddy Aaron here. We're on a little piece of public land, an area that he likes to hunt. And we're trying to hunt some teal birds. It's kind of in this lake that's kind of in the middle of uh, timber here. Um, I've never been here before in my life. It's a beautiful place, though, from what I can tell. I mean, there's just beautiful feed here. It looks like a very, very much prime habitat for teal here. Um, you got very good surface vegetation. Um, if we're throwing out these decoys, we don't even need weights. It's just beautiful, just matted over with grass. Aaron's been killing a good amount of teal out here since the beginning of the season. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it's a good hunt this morning. Uh, I already hear the whistling ducks. I wish they'd let us shoot them in September, but unfortunately, they don't let us do that. So we hunt these teal birds. So wish us luck, y'all. That's beautiful. Why them boys get in, boy? Gotta love it, huh? As a team, I'm scared to shoot him. I'm not. Kill him. There's a wood duck right by him. I see. I don't want to shoot the mojo. Yeah, dude, there's like, there's wood ducks everywhere. <laughs> Shoot a mojo or a wood duck. You got him? Got him on that one. One down. Boy, you the man. Hey, bro. You the man. <laughs> Give you that. You the man, dog. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot a mojo. <laughs> I tried to shoot a wood duck. <laughs> <laughs> the wood ducks all in the decoys, and we got one teal. <laughs> I shouldn't even call that. I sh dude, I shouldn't even call it the wood ducks. Nah, that was a good experience. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to shoot him because he's mixing with the wood ducks. I'm scared to shoot him. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I knew at some point he was going to get up or something was going to happen. He 
Yes, sir. First one down. There we go. That's what they look like. <laughs> That's what they right look like. Duck blind snack. Right here during tea season, y'all. Just a little natural brows. You know. Some whistling ducks. Oh dude, that would be That's uh, money. See if they got bands. I ain't seen none. You just gotta peel that and eat the inside. You might think it's a little bit bitter at first because you're biting the peeling. If, if you bite the peeling, the peeling the bitter. If you just peel it and then eat it, it's good. That two or something flying right there, like big ducks. Wood ducks or something. What did you think about it? Unique taste? Yeah. Something you never tasted before, huh? It tastes like peas, like you eat raw peas. Yeah, it kind of is like a pea. I might be the closest thing I've ever heard somebody describe it. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, shit, those are teal. Yeah, they teal. There they come. Be still. Kill him. Kill him? What do you mean, fault. kill him? That was my fault. I apologize. Bro, I was like, what are you talking about? That was going to wrap right around. That's my bad. My bad, dude. <laughs> All right. That's my bad. <sighs> What did you did you did it look like they weren't gonna? It looked like he was landing. Oh. It looked like they were coming down, dude. Hmm. And as soon as they popped up, they started lifting. Yeah. I mean, look, they might not have come back, you know. But usually, when they dip like that and they come over the back, they about to wrap right around in the front. They gonna set up. Typically, now they don't always do that, but typically, that's what I see. That was a family group. They got another big group behind them. Hopefully, we get some more do that. I am sorry. Well, it's only it's only f***ed up because we missed them. <laughs> yeah, I am sorry. By the time I got my gun up, though, they was they was way out there, you know. They had one that was kind of straggling behind. I took a uh, hail mary on, but I got a little. I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a little anxious because that's the biggest group I've ever shot on this year. <laughs> that's all good. We'll get them on the next go around. My granville they had. I could have just made the whole day. If they get right and land in them damn decoys, we could we could wreak havoc on them. Rookie mistake. Yeah, rookie mistake. <laughs> Kill him. They were too close. You got one? You got a double? Good. That one I shot at was too close, bro. <laughs> I shot at that one, he was right there. Right off the end of my gun barrel. I missed him clean. Good shot, buddy. See, there you go, there's your redemption right there. Okay. You shot them both in one shot, or you hit one and hit the other one? Oh, okay. I got him. Yeah, he's right here. Good shooting, buddy. You dirt rolled this one, dude. You dirt rolled this one, I know that. My lord. Got holes in the beak, dude. Good shot. But if I'd have hit that one, I was right off the end of my gun barrel right there, we wouldn't have been eating him. <laughs> Hey, bro. Redemption. Hey, but look at it. Look at the kind of bird, like as far as the age on it. What is that, a male or is that? That's a male. Oh, wow. A white wing bar. I got a young male right here or a hen. It's a hen. You got a hen. That's good, man. Some of them family groups are probably starting to make their way down here. 
I didn't know if they were gonna circle back, bro. They was coming in from the right direction. Yeah. They just set up and land. I just called it because they were right over the decoy. Oh, yeah, dude, I this one, dog. yeah, I told you, you 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 got that one. That's your redemption right there. Oh my shoot him. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. I got none. Oh, you got none? I got, uh, you said shells? Yeah. Here, here, here. I got one in. I'll load yours up for you. I don't know where you went now. Damn. You got one left? Yeah, I got one in there. All right. I don't know where you went. Oh, I see him. Damn, you're going to try to get out. Give me a shell. Throw me a shell. Give me another one. Got him. All right. Right there, right there, right there. I tried. <laughs> oh, Michelle, where'd that one come from? Off the water, right in front. He just got up and decided to go. Oh, that must have been the first one I shot. Oh my God. Oh, do I have, I still have one dead right there? I, I can't tell. Yeah, dude. That was messy, but a bird got up and left. Yeah. Dang, man! I thought he was dead. I saw him fall. I went to the next bird. I, I thought he was dead, but I guess not. I don't know what happened, man. I had to look back at the shot cam footage. The two of them kind of crossed right there. And I shot and I saw one of them fall. I thought I seen you fold one over here, but then that one got open. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall tripling. So I don't see how that... We, I've seen you shoot. I shot, I shot right here, boom. I saw two of them fall. This one got back up. You want me to check a little further down that way? I'm pretty sure that one got up was, was that no, first one I hit. He just didn't die. I just thought he was dead. That's why I was so focused on this one. Meanwhile, that one was just sitting in the dang decoys recovering the whole time. Yeah, let's make a swap. I couldn't find yours, so I just started throwing you shells out of my Yeah, back. no, you, you could take like five shells out of mine. You sure? Yeah. Take them, shells are too expensive. Yeah, he was still alive. He was still alive. So I shot over him on the second shot. Then I said, all right, I'm going to take my time, pass over this branch. I'm going to get him on the way out. And got him on the way out. But yeah, that, that was him. That bird was still alive. And I went from looking at... I saw him flapping. You know, I did see that out of my peripheral whenever I... Whenever I was, you know, shooting at this bird, but I thought it was just like the death flap, you know? Dang, man. Still shooting over him, bro. Gotta get used to this I gun, man. Too, dude. I just seen that one come out and come circle, and then all of a sudden, freaking. Because <clears throat> I got, the way I got my shot cam set up, is my shot cam dot is set up where my shot pattern actually hits yeah not where my bead is, is right so 
I can tell by, you know, looking at the footage that I'm shooting over them because the bead, the, the little dot is over the top of the bird, you know. I just gotta, I just gotta, like, I just gotta remember to drop it down just one more notch. Once I get the hang of it, man, I, it'll be money. I just gotta get the hang of it. It's, it's really hard to do whenever you're, like, on the fly like that. I need to take it out and shoot skeet with it. Go in a controlled environment and, and really get the hang of it. Because, I mean, everything I'm shooting is, is getting clipped. It's not... I'm not giving it the full load, you know? That's the same flock. I told you they're going to beep up all around. And they come back. Just stay down. Stay down. They're going to wrap around. Just be still. They're going to come right back. And they're going to come right in. Let them suck it land if they're gonna land. Oh, they're gonna follow the wood ducks. Don't do that. <laughs> we ain't lost them yet, but they followed the freaking wood ducks. They followed the wood ducks. <laughs> the wood ducks just screwed us up, dude. They followed them wood ducks. You saw that? Yeah. They was wrapping around, and then they got right behind the wood ducks, and they followed the wood ducks out. Damn, that sucks. But that's just to show you, though, like, that big flock, and your decision to shoot on them on that pass, it might not necessarily have been the, the bad decision, you know? Uh, because them, they didn't come back, you know? They did the same thing. They come right over the back and just kept going. So, that's why you can't beat yourself up over it, because you don't know, you know? You don't know what they were going to do. It's only hypothetical. I think they got one coming. I seen one go straight away and look like he was going to turn. Then I got. Oh, dude, they got teal I, I, I'm saying, bro. I know that's teal all over. All right, we about to get. They about to get right. I see one about to buzz straight in. Okay, but let's be patient because we might be able to get a whole flock in here. Teal right there. Straight this way. Oh yeah, I see him. All right, they're coming in. Ah, I thought about it. I was gonna give them a chance. They might come back. Yeah, okay. All right, they're gonna come do it. I think. I did not turn fast enough. Dang man, what are they doing? They looked like they was gonna come straight in, and then they just kept going. They didn't see us. And I didn't want to just shoot that one man with the possibility of them coming back. But man, it was right on the back side of the decoys, right I there. I thought they were coming. Oh man. Come right in. Oh, they, they, they banked. They should come right back. I saw the blue on the wings. That usually yeah. a tall tail sign that they coming. Are they coming? I don't want to move too much. They're coming back this way. Yeah, right up All right. Kill him. Good shooting. Love it. That's what I gotta do right there. Late morning teal shooting, man. Heck yeah, bro. Three in, three out. So you got four now. Yeah. Held down the right side of the blind. That's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> Good shooting. That's what I like right there. That's what I like. Yeah, I already see all the feathers on the water over there. Yeah. yeah. You sure you're gonna be able to eat them things? <laughs> yep. 
I figured out where to put my bead now. They in trouble now. Another male. Beautiful, beautiful duck. Sit a little longer and see if something else comes in and then I guess we'll roll out. What you got over there, males or, or what? Yeah, two males. Two males, what I got here too. Gotta love it. That was a good hunt, bro. Can't complain. You don't even have to unwrap them, the grass is so thick. Know, right? <laughs> All right, y'all, we ended the hunt with uh, seven birds. Not a bad day. I consider this to be a successful teal hunt. This area is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't realize just how pretty this place is until the sun came up and I really got to look at it. I mean, this is, I mean, this is about as pretty of duck habitat that I've seen in Louisiana in a long time, so... Aaron, I appreciate you for letting me, you know, come and hunt a place that you're familiar with. Uh, I've never been here before. I wish I could disclose public land spots, you know, on social media, but obviously it's not a good idea these days. And I think everybody listening could appreciate that. But uh, yeah, if y'all know what this place is, keep it to yourself, y'all. If y'all know where we are, because y'all got something really special here. But um, yeah, today we had our, we had our opportunities. Um, I think that we... I think in the beginning of the hunt, I think that we didn't give ourselves enough credit. There was a couple of flocks that buzzed through on us and we we taken shots on them. Whenever usually you'd kind of wait for those birds to come back. But as the morning went on, we realized these birds really weren't trying to decoy. They were just buzzing through. Uh, they kind of knew where they wanted to be. So it made the hunt a little bit tough. We had just enough birds come into decoys to make a little pile of ducks. And I had a great time doing it. And uh, look, anybody watching, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Leave this video a like. And I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.